Uh oh. But we got an airbag light. So, I looked it up and it is one of the crash sensors in the front. So what I've done is I've disconnected my battery. Removed both of these. This is the one that's reporting faulty right here. And this is the identical sensor on the opposite side. What we're going to do is we're going to switch those around. There are two bolts that are right there. And then you can take it out and disconnect the connector. There we go. I've taken that out. Taken the bracket off. And you see you have this clip down here at the bottom. These clips are a bit of a pain. You have to push this up. And then you'll be able to pull that down off of there. As you see, I had to remount this up in the front to do it. But that's pretty much it. That's the, this is the passenger side. And then the driver's side one. It's right there. So, I've swapped my sensors around. And I went to go check to see which one of these was causing trouble. And there we go. So at this point, I don't know if it was a bad connection or a bad sensor, but I'm getting no fault codes. I did get the fault code for the driver's side, and I cleared it, but then the new one did not come back. So we're just going to drive it for a little while, see if that light comes back on. Because it sure is not on now. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe.